Good morning and welcome to a trade plan for this week here in SPY. We have now, uh, or it looks like we have now voided a bear flag on the daily time frame at the very least here for SPY, which I was looking to capture some downside momentum last week and over the past couple of weeks. But with everything that's going on with the, the hurricane and traveling and all that stuff, I haven't really been able to do anything. So now that price action has set back up for me in a manner that I actually do like to trade, being that price is above the significant moving averages, we're about to get the 8 and 21 back above the 50, which is above the 200. It's very bullish technically, al algorithmically, visually. I mean, everything is bullish about SPY right now. Just recently put in a new all-time high, a much higher low. Uh, so we'll see what happens going into next week. Anyways, I will take a breakout above uh, this closing range that we now had set up into the end of this week, right here above 298.80. I will also buy support at these moving averages down here below. Now, if there's a gap down on Monday, I will use my algorithmic strategy to go ahead and buy and scalp some calls somewhere in here, depending on where it opens and how that works. That all goes out live in the trade crew room. If we do get a deeper pullback to the 200 SMA, I will be looking at these calls down here uh, with about a month of time in the future. Now, I want to go over to uh, the monthly chart real quick. We do have a slight downtrend line, which it's not that accurate simply because of how close the end of uh, July and the beginning of August days were. Um, this trend line is really hard to see on an intraday basis. See, <laughs> simple as that. Um, but anyways, if that does break, I would expect it to be a very easy move to take price action up higher and take out last month's high, which was only 300.87. We're only a couple of couple of dollars away from there. so. Maybe we get another inside week. Who knows? If it gaps down, stays inside here, then it's going to be really a really painful week to uh, to watch and to trade. So uh, I am looking for breakouts. And right now, if that does break, that, excuse me, if that breakout does occur, we are going to have a significant move higher, probably up to not only recent all-time highs, but this ascending trend line as well. So onto the weekly time frame. Even though uh, Thursday and Friday were gaps, was a gap up. Uh, that did void this bear flag that was setting up here for SPY. And uh, back on about our merry business. I am going to personally uh, make a much stronger effort to avoid watching, reading, following the news uh, or other bears, all the negativity that's going on. Yes, there's some concern in the market. Uh, but what the chart is telling me is there's not a lot of uncertainty. And the market is still a market. The SPY E-mini futures, SPX is still a machine designed to go up and it's going to do so until something extremely significant happens. Even with the rally in gold, the silver, uh, Bitcoin, whatever, we're still literally, what, 2% off of all time highs. Um, market's not falling apart yet. Uh, there's Even though there's a lot of negative talk out of the Fed, the talking heads on TV, all that stuff, the market is still very close to all time highs. So it's just too much fear in the news right now. And, um, that was impacting me personally, psychologically in my trading. So I'm going to just avoid it all completely. So uh, after my, getting back home, I did a little bit of reviews last night and this morning and noticed a, a nice bull flag that had set up here from in many futures. Just these two days here, August uh, 30th and September 3rd, where you had strong, or at least it looked like strong selling wicks, still ended up being a clo uh, closing green on the day and rallied higher for this bull flag break right here. Now, some participants may not notice this, but there's now been seven straight green days in a row for E-mini futures. The last time this happened, you're even re remotely close to that, was back here in June where we had six straight up uh, bull flag consolidation, pulled back to ADMA once, twice, 50 SMA once here, and just absolutely exploded higher. So uh, strong move up higher like this. I expect any kind of consolidation to resolve higher and take out these recent all-time highs. Monthly is the same pattern or same setup as uh, as SPY. I just move this line over here, and you can see you have a trend line that's very close to breaking, which will take us over the last month's high, probably very close, if not breaking through the pr even prior month's high. So a lot of things lining up here to be bullish. Uh, if something negative comes out over the weekend, I do have. I actually did take a, a small position in some puts. Uh, into the close on Friday, so that's just into the world protection. Uh, I believe I took 285 puts for Wednesday, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So 
very cheap and uh, just a little bit of protection. So we'll see what happens over the rest of the weekend and what goes on next week. For now, this is my trade plan and what I'm looking for. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Have a good weekend and good luck on Monday.